Come on, come on, come on, Bottle this up like elastic can That tool in my hand is a ticking sound Don't fight like a man that big man ball Then I ain't my dog Gone Bottle this up like elastic can That tool in my hand is a ticking sound Don't fight like a man that big man ball Where I roll this line with champion sound Connect my fist and brought that down Mr. Bashing man What is up guys? Adriana Maya and I'm back with another episode of Spliffs and Giggles Brought to you by the Red Eye District I have an OG in the porn game joining me today His name is Tony Rubino He's been in for 15 years, and he's shot with damn near all the women, baddest bitches, porn stars you can think of. Tony, thank you so much for joining oh, me thank today. Thank you for having me. Oh, Tony. What? I am so nervous what? for this so interview, nervous. guys. I have what? to say it. They're going to notice, so I'm just going to say it. I'm so nervous. Tony was my first um, like porn crush. Oh and like, shit! Okay. Yeah, like absolutely. <laughs> you you knew that. <laughs> well, I didn't know if it was the first porn crush. But yeah, okay. for sure, you're my first porn crush. Wow. And he, in fact, was my first anal. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you you're pretty much a master of it all. You've been in for 15 years. Yeah. Um, you're my first anal. How many girls do you think you were actually maybe their first anal? Because you have shot a ton of anal scenes. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, I really don't like anal I know you know it's like it's not my thing but I if, love you, the pussy. if the girl's cool I love the pussy you know yeah. but if the girl can take it in the ass like it makes it it makes it a lot better yes. but I'm a professional and I'll get the job done so I did a whole site that was strictly let's try anal I think it was yeah so it was the, oh some, yes sometimes yes, it was the girl's yes. first anal time it was really mm. her first anal like it, yeah you know that is true and they'd be so like oh my gosh you know nervous you know me I try to like yeah be you're nice. very yes cool. respectful very cool. easy going don't worry, we'll get it done. I'll go in easy. We'll we'll take off off the camera if we have to. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. And then like, by the second position, they're like, "I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming." You know. I love so, that. I don't See, know how that's many... a testament to how comfortable you make people. Thank you. It really. Yeah, is. I don't know how many, but it's been a lot because you know that whole site. I yeah. did so many of them. Before the show, we were all actually trying to help Tony calculate <laughs> his possible body count. Yeah. I, I know the younger generation is very fascinated with that word. Um, what did you land on upwards? What did know. you think it was? it was? What did they say? Uh, he, somebody did the math. At like, least 200 women a year. 200 women a year, yeah. Because you figure four scenes a week yes. for a long average four scenes a week for sure. So 200 women a year mm-hmm. for 15 years. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. And so I think it was a little bit over 2,000. But yeah. Like, we'll bring it down to 2,000 just for, like, vacations. Yeah, yeah. time you take off. Yeah. Time it, when you treat yourself after yeah. all your hard work. Exactly. <laughs> Which I did, re- I've been doing recently. You know, my first 10 years, all I did was just fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, now you're paying yourself yeah. back for all the work yeah. you put in. That's good, though. You yeah. feel like you've earned it now. I, I have earned it. <laughs> He has. Guys, I've this is it. probably one of the only male talents that you will never hear a performer complain about. At least thus far, I haven't, which is pretty significant. There's always something that people don't click on, but yeah. you get they probably talk about great my height, reviews. Actually. They're probably like, he was short as shit. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> your dick is so long. I they think don't it, care. Like, it, it doesn't out even. The height. Yeah, like yeah. you don't even think. I'm not even kidding. I forget. Like you're yeah. short. Sometimes. I'm pretty sure. And you were my first crush. I feel like that? I should know that. Yeah. But his dick is really long. It's just it makes up for it. Like you don't, you really oh, don't notice shit. it. You get like dickmatized. I like that. I'm Do you have um, a favorite type of scene to shoot? Because you've done anything. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm the best POV shooter in the business, but you're, I've you're been up told there. You're up there. my POVs are, you know. Yes. So I love POV mm. and especially shoot my own stuff because I could just make it as easy and fun as possible. I mean, we've got oh, some you do have your own site. What is yeah. that? My life in Miami. Yes, my, my life in Miami. Yeah. Do you do different series and stuff for it, or is it just no, a lot of POV? Yeah, it's mostly all just POV. I mean, if I have a shooter, sometimes I'll, I'll try something different, or some of my older scenes I had a director or stuff like that. But mostly it's POV and fun because it's like my life in Miami. Like yeah. What it's like to be me. The real you know? experience. Yeah, what it's like to be Tony Rubino. Most so. guys like the POV more, too, I find. I mean, I check my comments. I used to hate comments on sites, and but I do you read like my on comments. Yours? Well, you know, I mean, sometimes the guys, I hear the guy like, will this guy ever shut the fuck up? And I keep myself pretty quiet. You so really see, do. You don't, I talk don't talk much. No, lot. you don't talk much. And I hide myself a lot, yes. too, because that's the bang bros. That was their I specifically way. remember saying, um, 
they're not there to see me, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're not there to see me. The most they want to see is my dick. They want to see the girl. So yep. why would I focus the camera on me? It just yeah. doesn't make any sense. Like, even when they say, like, eat pussy, like, and it's a gonzo seed, like, no one wants to see my face next to a pretty pussy like yes, that. Yes, like, they I just want to see my face next to a pretty pussy, you know? <laughs> They're like, my dick is right yeah. here. Why do I go? <laughs> yeah. I actually agree with well, you. Well, Bangos always says, like, you're just a hard dick. You're not a star of the show. Mm. The girl's the star of the show. And I think a lot of people recently have maybe forgot that old yes. kind of yes. style, you know what I mean? Oh, and, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the girl's the star. That's why she's getting paid what she's getting paid. And how do you feel about this new wave and content creators calling themselves porn stars and kind of grouping themselves in the rankings with people like yourself? Well, truly? I mean, and you know what? Some of them have 10 times the amount of followers. Yes. Right? Because I came in before Twitter was even a thing. Yeah. So, but that again is a testament to your talent that you don't even need that to keep right, your to keep money coming in and everything. Yeah. Exactly. So, <laughs> I mean, I'd say the new content creators call themselves. I think there's girls that do porn that aren't even porn stars. Oh, absolutely. I right? think everyone gets a little carried away with that. Right, it's with very that term. true. It's very true. So. It's just porn star is such a significant term. And if you really look back in the history of it, it's these women who were just glorified because they were doing porn and they're shooting a bunch like. Porn is their life. They right. live, breathe yeah. it. Yes. They're, yes. That's their porn stars. They're porn stars. And they're famous because right. of it. Right, they're famous, right. It's a huge difference in just, then oh, just I saw porn. that girl do right. porn once right. and like, I like it. Like you do porn or you're a porn star or whatever. Mm -hmm. But content creators, I get it. They're the sex industry. What gets me very upset is when if I reach out, because you know I brought girls in the business. Yes, so absolutely. I reach out to one of these girls that has an OnlyFans or whatever and mm -hmm. say like, hey, you ever think about shooting for a big company? Oh, I would never do that. And that's so, I would never, yes. I have morals. And it's like, yes, girl, we're doing the exact same thing. Who do you think made all the fans? <laughs> we did. We made that I'm shit. like, girl, you're just doing it from home. And not for nothing, most of ours have shot in our home. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Like, or one of our friends' homes, you know, another performer. It's, it's pretty insane that um, I was speaking to the, another guest about this, the hierarchy, that just people just start running with it. And they're like, oh, if I'm a webcam girl, then I'm better than an escort. Or if right. you're a porn star, then right. you're better than all of them. And it's right. like, it's all sex work. Like, right. if we're really getting down to and it, And most it of really them probably is. do multiple things. Exa Some exactly. Some girls webcam, escort, and do porn. It Thank you. Like, so you're just an entrepreneur. Right. You're, you're making money. <laughs> like, you're a hustler. That's what it is. Everyone's very caught up. And you know me. I love a girl. A girl you guy. do. I love you a money do. girl. You do. Tony mm. is an advocate I think for that's my fetish. getting girls. No, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> um, getting girls that just are money hungry. Mm -hmm. Like, and just focused on that. And honestly, those are the best co-workers to have. Well, they genuinely what about, are. Right? They I'm really money hungry, right? Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely. I'm not about the party. And I'm you not are about... always shooting. Always. Always right? working. And... <laughs> When you find new places, you're like, oh, I'll shoot here. I'll shoot yeah, here. I know. Right? I need to stop doing that. I need to stop right, doing that. you got to be able to I'm driving around. This girl's like, I bet you're looking for a place to shoot right now. I'm like, yeah, that field over there. That right? That looks really good. That. I could probably get away with that. Honestly, you want... I found some good spots. You've done it for so long. You probably could. Just because you know what to look out for. You know right. what you need. Like, it's right. all very cut and dry to you. Right. Some other newer people might not have as much luck. Have you ever had any scares when you're shooting content or maybe for one of the big companies where you're in public and you yeah. guys are kind of worried that someone's going to sneak up on you? Yeah, I did a scene out on out on the beach before and uh, it was me and another male talent, three girls who were inside of a tent. You could definitely see inside the tent. Yeah. And But we were inside the tent, so I think it was like an orgy party or something, whatever it was, Ooh. whatever it was called. Yeah. And uh, these... Like a whole group of people came and then they went in the water and they were yelling like, oh yeah, fucker, 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 right? So we're like, whatever, we'll just yeah. keep going. Yeah. But then they start saying, look behind you, 5050. And I was like, cut oh it. shit. Cut it. Yeah. Right, so I cut the camera. The other no talent's like, dude, I can't go out there. So I was like, all right, I'll go. I yeah. might fucking dicks in my fucking bathing suit all fucking you know, like walking up to this guy I'm like hey bro like we just need five more minutes that's yeah. what I said and he was like nah you guys are good I'm talking to the people in the water to get out if the current's too bad I was like we are in fucking Miami yeah we are in motherfucking that's Miami that's awesome that's we are in so Miami. fucking he's like I don't get out of my face yeah. I'm not even worried about you I went back and told him they, they thought I was joking you right know? the good yeah no this probably was probably um mm, Maybe 2013. Wow. Yeah. 2012, 2013, maybe. <laughs> well, now, you can, now you can tell them about the changes that come yeah. with the 2013. Right. Then, <laughs> around 2017, 
17, I did a public scene for a company where the girl was holding a fuck me sign, fuck oh. me for food sign, butt naked in Fort Lauderdale. That didn't go so well. About yeah. five cops showed up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. All female cops. All female cops. Oh, usually, so of course they think that right. you're doing something If a, if a guy cop pulls up, usually it's like, hey, bro, listen, this is what we're filming. He's like, oh, shit, who is that? You know, like, I know that I had another instance with another female star where we, we got pulled over with weed. And then they figured out who she was. I'm out in the heat. She's like sitting there conditioning. Yeah. Like, taking pictures. You know what I mean? Like, That's the guy so cops awesome. are cool, you know? In Miami, they really are so cool about right. it. It is very Because true. it's like, you, you know what? Miami's much. always been a sexual city. Like, ever yes. since back in the 80's. Like, two live crews, like, like, way the ahead culture. of their time. Yeah. It really is. Like, people <laughs> used to think they would get off the plane and girls would be naked here. Mm-hmm. Like, oh shit, I'm off the plane from New York. Where's the naked girls? Like, you know? <laughs> That's actually funny. People yeah. do think that. Or like going to like the regular beaches. They're like, where's all the naked people? Right. You're like, oh no, we have nude beaches now. Yeah. Like, I love the nude beach. <laughs> yeah. I love the nude it beach. It is, it is good. Best nachos on that nude beach. <laughs> I go there if for the anyone's nachos. anyone's wondering, there's yeah. the nachos. Great and nachos out there, guys. I would Chicken say nachos. he's a certified smoker, so you can always yeah. take our word for like good food places. That's yes. a very true thing. No, it's... Yeah, it's Does fun, weed fun. play any part in your day to day in getting ready for mm-hmm. any of your scenes and like getting your mind right? Because it must be pretty hard with the amount of, and this is kind of crude, the amount of nuts that you're busting like consistently, like that you need to find a balance somewhere. Well, I don't put that in my head. Like, no, let's not, let's not put that one in my head. That weed affects my nut. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, like weed's the good part. Oh, okay. Like it helps you, like no. when you're trying to get ready, so you can come and stuff. Because no, if you're no, coming no, no. so often, for a lot of people, it is a bit harder. No, what I do is I smoke like an hour before my scene. I don't yeah. want to be too high for a scene. For yeah, home yeah. sex, it's different. Home sex, I could smoke and just fuck. Yeah. But for a scene, I like to smoke. You know. Like way before that way, mm-hmm. I'm like coming down because if you're too high and the girl's oh, like yeah. sucking your dick, you're like, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> kind of zoned yeah. out on it. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to be doing? That now? is okay, so true. You know? Yeah. So that yeah, I don't true. like to be too high when I when I try to like. Actually, I completely agree on that. I think if you go to set like really high. When you're having sex, you do get kind of lost in it because right. it does feel so good right. that you like forget what you're doing. Yeah, you forget that it's and a lot of time for girls, you can tell like when someone's like blasted because like they kind of zone out into the camera and they're like looking at it but not really looking at it. I think that shit's hilarious. Also, not really good to be doing at work. Yeah, you should be. save it. Like, <laughs> I, I didn't say I did. I said it's right. good to watch. Yeah, if anybody does that, it's I'm wrong, so it's wrong responsible. Thing to do. Guys. Wrong thing you to would do. honestly we would never be blown like away that. at but how responsible I am. I usually leave a nice little half in the car, and I felt my I, I, for when you're on the yeah, way for, home for my ride home. That's so then, or a full one, whatever. And <laughs> you know, I, sometimes I roll two. I'm like, all right, one for the and then one mm-hmm. for the ride back, and then um. Or if I stay in Miami, because if I'm down in Miami, you know, I'm not going to stay out there. That is a far But sometimes I'm traffic, in like, man. just about to be in fourth position, and all I'm thinking about is like, damn, that blunt's in the car waiting for me. That joint's in the car waiting for me right That's now. like your little yeah, treat for all the work you've been putting I can't wait to bust this nut and smoke that shit. That's you know? awesome. You know what's yeah. funny? I actually asked a couple of the fans about some questions for mm. an OG like yourself. Okay. And they're, they're a little wild. I'm not going to lie right, to you. Let's um, see so first and foremost, how do you control yourself on set when you're around so many beautiful women? Like, how do you just not get overwhelmed and try to fuck everyone off camera? Uh, well, that's yeah, that's not my style. There's you know some male talents are like that. That's not really my style. I kind of have to have a connection with the person. Yeah. To hang oh, out with sure. them outside of work. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like I'm not just like the because I'm just gonna go to work, so I'm just exactly. gonna fuck anyway. So, it's just a job. You know. So mm-hmm. yeah. So anybody that I ever hang with, then that means that there's some kind of other connection, mm-hmm. just not the sex, you know? Yeah. I've had sex with a lot of girls that I loved, but I wouldn't really hang out with them. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> okay, I got another one for you. We're going to have to cut that into a bit. That was fucking funny. <laughs> but I wouldn't fucking hang out with them. That's how I feel too, honestly. Like there's some people yeah, I've read. You never want to hang out with me, huh? No, I love hanging out Whatever. with you. But I adore you, so I can't <laughs> hang out with you. It was just oh, it would be a mess. Okay. Yeah, what if I did this? Do you have to have? 
Go ahead. Do you have to have like a gym or workout regimen no. to keep up with your shooting? No, I wish. I wish I had that. <laughs> Damn. I, I wish you could just think about working out and then you could get muscles. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> God, why doesn't that work like that? You know I saying? honestly wish you could. It's not even like the working out that bothers me. It's really not. It's sweating. I am so unbelievably grossed out by yeah, sweat. I'm not a big, I don't really sweat. Uh, yeah. I just don't. Oh my God. The thought yeah. of it right now. I'm like, and you know, we shoot with no AC on. No, like sometimes I go through a whole set without really sweating. Ooh, what do you think was like the hardest scene you've ever done? Because there are some pretty tough conditions that you get put in. Like being outside in the summer in Miami by well, a pool. sand is the worst. That's that's horrible. Whoa, sand yeah. is the worst because once you touch it, it's all over the fucking place. We so did a, a beach shoot and that was the windiest, sandiest. We did a beach shoot? With Riley and Gia Page. We did a foursome. What? And it was, yeah. What? Yeah. So it was that same site that I was talking about. I think so. But okay, so we were on the beach. Wait, yeah. wait what? Who? Wait, Gia Page. Gia Page and that was Riley's and Riley. Okay, I remember it now. Now it's coming yeah. to me. Holy shit! Yeah, we that was so weird. I know it was. So <laughs> weird. <laughs> you yeah. and I were like, "This is the weirdest day yeah, Virginia ever." Virginia Key, right? Virginia Key. Yes, that's yes. a great spot. It that's was a really good spot. We didn't get awesome bothered. No. no one. It was awesome. Awesome spot. But we did shoot on the beach, and the sand and the wind. And the foursome, it was the craziest day ever. So if I would just recommend maybe not having sex like on sand. No, I got like, this. I got this. Yeah, that was, I got this thing now. It's like a bag. And, oh, no, you got your thing. What am I doing? Yeah, so, I so, <laughs> so I got this thing. It's like a bag. Boom, it opens up and it's kind of like nylon or whatever. Like a Oh, thing. yeah. And then so the sand goes on. right off of it. That's awesome. I love it. So you have a little trap. Well, yeah. you need one. You shoot so often. Yeah, you got to have the little tricks. What is your favorite um, hole to shoot? My favorite hole to shoot? Like yeah. the mouth, the pussy, or the ass? Yeah. Because you like doing POV. Yeah, but like, is I love the, the pussy, pussy the easiest to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, ass is the same, but I just love pussy, you know? <laughs> through and through. See, there's honestly a lot of guys who are, I feel like a lot of the new guys are kind of obsessed with anal. Like they truly are, and a lot of the older guys who have been in the industry for like a longer time, like they'll do it. But I get they were just like pussy, like yeah, pussy's just pussy's it, so great. It's well, it. it gets wet by itself, you know. Like, oh, very true. Yeah, it's way more fun. And when it's wet, that means they like it, right? Yeah. If it's not, they might still like it, but they might be thinking too much. It's like get out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you so get out of your head. Don't um, tell me you can't come. I've made myself come with a 60 year old lady. You can make yourself come. You know what I mean? Ooh. That's my thing that I hate the most. When a girl thinks that she can't come. It's bullshit. 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 What is, because you just said a 63 year old lady. That's what I heard. What is, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. What is the weirdest way that you've so had funny. to make yourself come? Like if it's just like you're in a weird situation, they want you to do one of those weird gifts videos and like oh nothing or eye or something what is the weirdest way you've had to come no i don't think there's been a weird way i had to come but i always come the same way i i usually stop the camera and yeah. get my mind right i mean sometimes i just come right from fucking you know but mm -hmm. if i could think i can get to the base in that yeah. amount of time you know mm -hmm. let them know it's yeah. tough sometimes or if it's pov it's like oh you gotta get that leg over and get up there it's... yeah especially if she doesn't know what she's doing right yeah, you gotta kind so of distract kind of them fuck. so sometimes i like to cut for the cum shot and then get ready but yeah i mean i use my mind you know but everybody that's what i'm saying everybody has something that really turns yeah. them on right mm -hmm. like when you're at home and you got a vibrator like you know what the fuck to think about that you're gonna yeah you're gonna, gonna make come. you come absolutely you know or get you close and then you stop yourself and then you keep going for another 40 minutes and then you know why is that does that describe you because you just look like i no, i just i know you do that <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like you know, you're telling them everything <laughs> no but you know everybody has a thing so don't tell me you can't come because yeah you gotta think of that thing you know what's your thing i like slutty girls yeah i like slutty girls Slut, sluts are my weakness Sluts are your weakness. They make the world go round, though, you know? They really do. Sluts make and the world go round. They make the world a better place. We get so much hate. Ugh. Those people don't know nothing. <laughs> and he would know. Mm -hmm. He's fucked over 2,000 of us, guys. What would Those you say? Those people don't know nothing. <laughs> they really and don't. And every girl really wants to be a slut. They do. Every girl they wants do. to be a they slut. Do. Every girl wants to be a slut. 
People yeah. just don't just let it me. out. <laughs> just let it out. Just let it out. Let it out with me. Yeah. <laughs> My Instagram is not. <laughs> We'll actually have Tony's tags available. Oh, okay. So if any of you are interested, yes. um, what is something you look for? And this is a bit of a jump, but what is something you look for when you're trying to get a girl to do porn? Well, and it sucks that I even have to say this, but it's because it's not necessarily what I like. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I've had a wide variety of girls yes. in all different styles, right? Yes. So it's not that I prefer any little thing, but, yes. you know... The small petite girl really sells really mm-hmm. well. So as an that's, agent and as a businessman, what do you look for? The small petite, yeah. Right, you know, that's, that's the first. White, no tattoos, like, you know, like that's what rates high and sells mm-hmm. a lot, you know? Like as somebody that's been in the business and see what girls get, you know, a lot of money, it's that. And if, you know, you're the agent and you want to make money, well, Absolutely. <laughs> it's about how many shoots they get, you know? So... Do you think you'd ever? I think big booty girls always get work. You know, that's always that's a niche too. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I would never like you know tattoos. I'm a little bit iffy on. Like that's my first thing I ask. And if I see that the girl has a couple bad, then I then I'm just kind of like, ah, you know, Mm -hmm. maybe holler at somebody else. Well, and what you guys don't know is a lot of companies when you're first coming into the industry, they do want to shoot you for like that girl next door, like that new thing, because that gives you a lot more longevity in the industry. Because there's only a couple more places you can jump, like right. MILF, you know, right. Granny, you know, like it's not, there's only like right. three other things. So if you can come in without tattoos and stuff, you then pull off that look so much bitch. better. Yes, and then you go, then to, bad you go bitch, to bad bitch, and usually girls get like some augmentations or something, right. you know, like they got work like done. More from like or you just grow up. Yeah, you get like mature, like, and then right. there's like before MILF. You know, yeah. but there's only a few stages, so I completely understand that. You really do want to milk it for as yeah, long as no, possible. Yeah, you know, like, man, I had a girl hit me up the other day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And she had a Playboy bunny tattoo on her ass. And it's like, oh, so you yeah, know, so what's that? that? Yeah. Can't do it. Because it's a logo. And, That's dude, a and the dude was like, thing. right. And the dude's like, the dude that recommended me was like, why not? And I'm like, imagine if you're selling yes. Budweiser and your girl has a Bud, Bud Light, Light tattoo. tattoo. Like, you can't oh, have no, that. See, I, I'm i telling you, there Tragic. was a girl I remember she who got a, she had an alien eating pizza on her leg, and it was huge. And I was just like, you're, like, I don't even know what to say to you. Like, you're not going to shoot. Like, right. no one is right. going to shoot you. Like, there's just no way. So there are some things about um, shooting, at least professionally wise, that they do get a little picky on. Do you switch up your preferences for shooting your own stuff? Uh... I mean, I'll shoot with, you know, I try to change it around to see what will sell. And, and, and weirdly enough, it was one of my highest rated scenes is a girl that I did not think would. Really? Know? Yeah. 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 And who knows what it is because I shot her for two scenes. So the other scene didn't really do as well. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, wait till I drop the second scene. So oh. it has to be something specific. Right. Maybe it was the true. thumbnail. Yes. Maybe it was her outfit. It's like, if we knew that Ooh. secret, we'd all be millionaires. Hell right? yeah. Right. If we, knew, if we knew what the fuck really made that video sell, mm-hmm. why it has 400,000 more views than the other yes. one, then we'd all be rich. But That is so true. Yeah. I, I have no idea. But yeah, I just, I try to switch it up a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, who do I like? Who do I like to fuck? Like, who do I think might do good? You know, mm-hmm. who's available? Have you, you know? hopped on the OnlyFans train? I'm on it, but you know, I don't really do like the jerking off thing and stuff like that, that a lot of guys do. And it's, you know, cause eventually you got to talk to the yes. customers too. You okay. know? And, and I get, so, and I get that. I, you know, I, and I, and I, and you know what? I, I don't, that's their hustle too, because it's accepted when they yes. came into the business. Yes. It wasn't yes. looked down upon, but when I came into the business and it is what it is, like, you know, when I came into the business, that was not a thing that male talents did. You well, know also. I mean? I guess, and I'm going to sound so repetitive, it's a testament to how much you shoot. You don't really need to have that interaction with them to right. be talking to them like that. You get your brain. I know I have gay shooting. fans. Yeah, I know yeah. I have gay fans. I mean, I know I have gay fans. Like, yeah, but you're also busy. There. You don't necessarily yeah, have yeah, time no. to No, do I mean, that I, 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 you know, I do well on my other platforms. I have my Pornhub Premium. That does mm, well for mm-hmm. me. So, you know, I keep that updated, edit that. I do yes. everything myself. I don't have no team. That's awesome yeah. for 15 years. That's edit. actually pretty insane. Edit. Upload it. Description. Yeah, you do part time agency I mean? stuff, shooting yeah. for companies on top yeah. of it. That's wild yeah. to never have a team. Do you have any plans on ever retiring, or is it just you're going to ride it till the wheels fall off? Whatever my dick stops working, then I'll find somebody else to do that. 
you know? Yeah. I'll find somebody else to be the kid and I'll just probably shoot it. Yeah. You know, as long oh, yeah, as you're absolutely. in money, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And whatever, there's other opportunities that always come about, you know that. So who knows? You know? Do you ever end up on set sometimes when you're, like, get someone that you need to work with and you just kind of realize, like, there's not really a connection here? I don't know. I mean, I don't really talk. I don't, like, I'm always, like, talking to the directors and shit, and then I kind of yeah, leave yeah. it. She's like, I know, I remember yeah. this. Because I sometimes the girl thinks I'm not talking to them. Yeah. But I, you know what? You don't want to say the wrong thing, because then, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's just like, all right, I'm going to get to know you right before we shoot. Yes, and you also, you're... You're so respectful. Like he said, he kind of gives space up when you're at the shoot. He's so cool. A lot of guys, they get a little handsy and oh, stuff. I always think that's weird. They do know that they like think, you're going to have sex, well, but they, it's also like... Is it, I think because <laughs> they need that approval oh, yeah, of like, to that feel you good. like them. Yes, and you know? it's, it's just I a job. I kind of don't really care. Yeah. I'm just going to get paid. Exactly, you're going to do your like, job. I, don't, but I know. I've seen like a guy mm-hmm. like with the girl, I guess, and I'm like, do you just meet her? He's like, yeah. I'm like, why are you touching her? Yeah, like... Like, oh, you're good. She's going to blow you. Literally. Like, dude, yeah, chill. It's, like, it's already. Wor- <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. It's, it's right there. It's, Look. It's literally line number seven. Line, line number seven. It says right there. She blows you. So you don't have to hold her hand. Literally, like, <laughs> the thing is, I get it. Like, some people, I guess they need that, like, mm-hmm. kind of, it may make them feel personal, like, connection. I just, like, I'm like, as long as you're cool, you know? You're not, like, awkwardly staring at me or something weird. <laughs> this kid, uh, kid on Twitter. Good. Kid on Twitter hit me up. Dude's got like a 13 inch. No, I really don't fuck with male talent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I only get girls in the business. Like mm-hmm. I, but I will vouch for a male talent if I think he's good. Yes. And he said to me like, "Well, you know, I kind of need the chemistry." And I'm like, "You gotta mm-hmm. get over that, bro. You gotta get over that." Let it go. Let it go, because it, it it doesn't matter, and it's oh. gonna cause more conflict. I said, "You got chemistry with money." Because <laughs> that's what it's about. Because that's what you're getting at the end of the day, and if yeah. you do, it should be not a fucking problem. It, no. it honestly should. For real. Wow. If a girl likes you, listen, there's girls that like me, there's girls that like this male talent, there's girls that like this male talent, there's girls that, you know what yes. I mean? Like, you're going to find, specific. right, you know, some girls go to different, different male talents. Yeah, you know sometimes I mean? they do. Yeah. Those fucking, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love, well, uh, was I insu- insinuating? I think you were insinuating. Oh, maybe you just feel guilty about. I know I did feel guilty because I I got I put the book <laughs> down because I got nervous. Um, yeah, I do. I especially back in my younger days. I know you young girls. I'm done with young girls. I'm not even young anymore. I'm 25. I'm so fucking old. It's awful. Um, fuck. What was I gonna ask you? Now I'm stuck on how old I am. God damn it. <laughs> Did you ever, and this is a fan question, by the way, okay. but also me, well, I actually know this answer. <laughs> did you, <laughs> did you ever have a time you didn't want to pull out? No. Well, well, yeah, I kind of did one time, but it was, so it was supposed to be a fake cream pie mm, mm-hmm. at the end, but I thought, you know, it is a cream pie, so obviously she's paid for it it's she signed up for a cream pie and i cream pie and she wasn't too happy about that situation and i forgot that we didn't take pictures yet <gasps> oh no so you messied her up you messied her oh no, well fucking i came so yeah. fucking then i had to get that card it was mm-hmm. a whole situation that's so wild yeah that's a thing guys oh when you're shooting and most of you don't know this sometimes they have you take pictures in between it's kind of a pain yeah in the ass. i like the pictures in between do you? Yes, because really? it gives you time to stop and take a break real quick and, you know, just as long as people oh, don't start talking yeah. too much, true, you know? True, true. I like that, yeah. Throw the air on for fucking 30 yeah. minutes, you know? Let's take some pictures. So I agree with that. If it's like a POV Blurry especially, naked. it's I hate, I hate going through all the pictures, then getting, getting dressed, dressed, and then, then undressing all the again. Yes, yeah, what no, is that? I'd rather do the sex oh pictures while we're already naked True. and handle that. What was the question though? I cut you off. No, but that that was it. Did oh. the pictures ever get in the way of like you shooting, but you said no, because mm-hmm. you got a little system going. That's actually genius. Does the amount of shooting that you do ever affect your personal life? Not really. I mean, I mean, I do got to save my nut, you know? Mm-hmm. You yeah. guys, that means you can't have <laughs> sex with like your girlfriend I mean, you or can, yourself. But you know, you might not nut. You know? When you're supposed to, right? When you're shooting, or you know, you day. might not fuck multiple times that day. You yeah. only might, you know, one nut, maybe multiple fucks, but only one nut. You know. <laughs> so you have to conserve. Yeah. 
It's, it's a rough situation. It's like a science. But tradition. you gotta get this money, man. It is. You do. You gotta it get is. this you money. Really I mean, do. there's you nothing worse than, yeah, I mean, come on. You show mm. up to set the next day. Just knowing that you busted two nuts yesterday and you got three days booked ahead of you, you're like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's a lot. This is a lot of work coming up, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, I should. I should have not done it. Like I, I should have. Yeah, I should have kept that one to myself. I feel like I wake up every morning with a fresh set of nuts, you know. <laughs> I do. I mean, I'm a little crazy, everybody. That's so funny. <laughs> I feel like I wake up every right, morning yeah, with a but, fresh set of nuts. Yeah. Usually. I think you do. Obviously. Yeah, honestly. Like, you, yeah, you get, like, while you sleep, sleep yeah, right? Like replenish. <laughs> I don't know how. This is like working in overdrive. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> what other question? Oh, um, is Adriana Maya's butt as soft as it looks? It's very soft. So super, super, super soft. I love, I love your beauty. Oh, we got it. What? Oh shit. Yeah. For real? Oh my god. Come on, Troy Fatoni. Old school? Oh, yeah. oh come on. One time, one time. One time. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's my God. So, so it's so hard not to cry. You know that? <laughs> yeah. It's so hard not to cry. I feel like I'm on porn side. I'm about to put my dick we out. We are on porn. You don't, don't stop it. Cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> don't even put my dick out. <laughs> You know I'll do it. Crew, get out of here. You know I'll do it. Okay. I've done um, that <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have to focus. I've I have actually to done that. You've just pulled your dick out? Well, it was on a, um, it was on like a... I believe it. Okay. Yeah, it was on a, what you call, like a, like a movie set. Like a, it was a <gasps> short film that this dude was doing. Yeah. He was like an editor. He's like an editor. And Angelina Castro. He got lost in the sauce. Angelina Castro <laughs> yeah, was no, there. Yeah, no, and Bella Reese, somebody, and they were sitting there, and Angelina Cash was like shaking her titties, and she's like, You want to put your dick out? You want to put your dick out? I was like, Keep shaking them titties like that. Watch. And like these two regular dudes that were like, just they were regular dude actors, like they were sitting there, they were like, This is these Asian dudes, it was so funny. They were boys with my one boy, and they were just sitting there. And I was like, I'm telling you, I'm going to put my dick out. She's like, You put it out, I'll suck it right now. I'm like, You're going to suck it? You're going to suck it? Boom! I pulled that shit out. I'm like, she didn't suck it, the other girl sucked it, but hey, it was great. That's but the hot. kids were like, the kids just sat there like, holy shit. Yeah. You want to know how cool that must be to civilians? That must be like amazing. It was, it was pretty cool to me. It's like pretty it. cool to me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that doesn't happen to you more, honestly. No. I feel like you would get more situations like that. No, well, you know me. I, I like to yeah, go home, pretty... make my money, go home, smoke, upload my footage, chill. You mm-hmm. know, next day, wake up, get my money, smoke, chill. <laughs> next day. He's a bit of a workaholic. No, I travel. Yeah, now you said you, you've been branching out more. Oh, you are based in Miami. Do you yeah. ever go out to LA? I saw you did that a little bit ago. I did. I still got to LA. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, not for work though. I don't really, I'll shoot for people or something like that, but mm-hmm. I did direct for Bang Bros out there for a little bit. I'm not a big fan of LA. I'm a Miami person through and through. Like my old handle is like MIA porn star. Yeah. You know, like I'm, that's, that's me, Miami. What about like, Miami just has, has it for you? I don't know, the, more, the people are more real here to me, mm. you know. Um, has a bit of everything. Yeah, I love Miami. Anyways, better beaches, better than LA. Better beaches, better better food, better. I mean, I I'm, I'm not a big fan of LA. Mm-hmm. I'm an East Coast person, you know that. I'm not a big fan of LA either. No. And I'm not an East Coast person. I'm an East Coast person. I'm not a fan of LA. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I want to go to the beach and be hot. You know what I mean? I want to see hot girls. Yes. Like Miami's sexy. Florida's sexy. It's clean. It's it like, is. Florida you know, is very sexy. It's a little flashy sometimes. I like that. Mm-hmm. They drive fast on the highway. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like in LA is the opposite of all that. Oh my God, yeah. You know what I mean? Holy shit, I'm in yeah, LA like, yeah, I'm like, am I going 45 that. on the fucking highway right now? What the fuck? How much should I smoke? You know? No. Like, is this my I'm, fault? Yeah. Like, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just following everybody else. 45 on the fuck fucking highway. That. Fuck LA. Oh my God. I, the best thing about LA is the weed. LA, you guys got that. Yeah, you know? that's fair. I ain't that. That's okay. Not denying you at all. One, mm-hmm. and, and I'll go there just for that. That and pussy. I'll go to LA. Money. Money, know, yeah. Money, money yeah. weed, and pussy. Yeah. Hey, that's what little Wayne said. Pussy, money, weed. 
A lot of people said it. Yeah. Biggie, Pop. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Tony. <laughs> Tony's so great to have on. Man. Oh, shit. He's funny. You were nervous. I, I I'm really still nervous. nervous. You make me nervous. Why do I make you nervous? Like, you're just be, you were my first porn crush. I was. Did I already say that on camera? Or did. did. I, oh, okay. Well, I was going to be like, no. I did. <laughs> I'm high. That's funny. I'm super high. Good. Yay. Yes. Oh, you know what? I think I'm, we're smoking on Cali Pack Exotics. We love them. They're they're my this boys. For and real, guys, real. not for nothing. See, I know you see it. That's see? my bag. That's my logo. What's That's your bag? Us. What's your logo? Spliffs and giggles. That's your bag and yeah. your logo. Well, it's from Cali Pack. We okay. do a like a collaboration. Oh shit. Sure. Yeah. They're, there are lots who love them. Yeah, I know. Things. things are moving on up. I'm I'm an old woman now. You know, can't just pop this pussy. I got to do like fifty other things. Oh, I'm popping it. <laughs> the the pussy hasn't stopped popping. We're, we're gonna keep popping. You gotta keep that. You gotta keep that going. Do you have any scenes that we just need to look up? Some of your OG scenes, maybe with some big stars, maybe just your own work because you have my life in Miami. I mean, definitely check out my life in Miami. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'd be a retard not to say that. Uh, yeah. Definitely check out my life in Miami. I have great scenes. I got you on there. What like. Three times, four mm -hmm. times, probably. Oh, and like, I, I think I got, a, I think I got a couple young ones on. Of me, young into yeah. like, oh, that's so my funny. My premium, you know, mm -hmm. my life in Miami. Um, scenes that were really, really good. Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. Besides There's our so money talk many. scenes, because ours were just wonderful. I have so many, yeah, our money talk scenes. Yeah. Were. I have so many. Killer. You do. I, have, I mean. Here's how to narrow it down. Go to my life in Miami. Those are the top ones, right? Then go to Pornhub. And then just I mean, Google all my him property and look at sex all the things. My property sex scenes. Oh, yeah, They're you big. shop for them a lot. Yeah, yeah. I shop for them a lot more lately. I love that. You know, my, you know my property sex scenes. I don't care if you, and you know, a lot of girls take property sex lightly. Like, oh, just Tony. No, no. Great, property sex will get more views than most companies are going to get you. No, great site. And I was unlucky enough to not get Tony. I got someone else. And then I found out, like, right after I did it, that you started doing it. And I was like, how did I oh, miss this? How? Right. I was, I was so sad. That. That's, I was yeah, so I mean, sad. I've been directed for them for a long time. Yeah, but it is true. That's one of my scenes that people bring up the most. Of the course. property sex. Yep. They love that. That's a huge site. If you guys haven't heard of it, check it out. We got our boy on there. And he told you his dick is big. Like, it's like really big. Like, that's like no gas. All my ass parades. I love my ass parades. Rebecca Linares. That's one of my favorite OG scenes. Site for sure. She was fucking, she was amazing. Yeah. I loved Rebecca Linares. That was a great scene. Great oh, scenes. All the old scenes. Bella sites. Anderson. She was fucking amazing. Ugh. Was there ever anyone that you were going to go on scene with that you've always wanted to and it got nervous like before on scene? No, not really, no, because I was never like a porn fan. Mm. Like, I, never, I was never like a big porn fan, you know? Yeah. Like I just, and I don't even really ask who yeah. I'm working with because I don't really want to know just in case mm -hmm. I don't like the person or, you know, I don't want to look them <laughs> you up. You don't want to psych yourself up. Right, yeah, yeah. I, just, I just show up with Mrs. So I'm working with, okay, cool. So yeah, like, I mean, mm. no, even... Even when it was like Jaden James or Rachel Starr, and it was my first time working with them, and I yes. was, you know, only two years in the business. Mm -hmm. or, you know, like I worked with a lot of those girls early, early on. Yes. Maybe even like Lisa Ann. I always had a little trouble with Lisa Ann. Like she, I think she made me come early one time, Lisa Ann. That's hot. She definitely did. I ain't gonna say that's that. Hot. She that's definitely hot. one million percent, Lisa Ann. You got me. <laughs> Everyone's agreeing with you right yeah, now. They're Lisa like, dude, Ann I would have came early really too. <laughs> I'm not too sure if you know this or not, but you are one of the few male adult stars that actually has slightly larger female fan base than most actual adult stars. No way. Uh, we do our research. Get the uh, and it's, it's actually true. You know, slightly Where is that? And, 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 why? They, they like no. me. I like them too. You're what annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I mean, I get some DMs every now and then, but not like, come on, where are you guys at? I, I told you, there's no I'm one ever nice says anything guy. bad about you. I'm a very yeah. nice guy. And your dick is big. See, she's co-signing it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I could fuck, you know, I, I've had, you know, listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You want to know something funny, yeah. guys? I wasn't even going to say this, but this is just really fucking funny. 
When I was 18 in the industry. Oh, were we going there? I'm, I'm going to say it. Because oh, it's just this. fucking funny. I love this. I, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I, uh, I, <laughs> God, I shot with Tony. Yep. I don't think it was for your site. I think it, it was, was for mofos, someone else. Mofos, for Mofos. Yep. Um, it was a POV thing, though, mm-hmm, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was I like. Picture. I saw the picture in my Dropbox. It was a really good scene for me. <laughs> oh. And if you look up the video, you'll you'll you can tell. Oh yeah, um, she was loving that shit. And then afterwards, but she was saying a lot of things during uh, the filming, and when I would put I, the camera I down, was, I was. you were saying a lot of things to me that was like, okay, damn, so this is mine, right? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And you were like, yeah. So then, <laughs> <laughs> so then, I wrote up a little contract like I. Blah, 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 legal name. I don't know your legal name on it. Yeah, yeah. it's it. So it's real. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's real. real. Uh, now, as of this date, give this pussy to Tony Rubino, mm-hmm. a.k.a. Boom, 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 my real name. Mm-hmm. I put witness. I had your agent sign it. You signed it. So you signed, you signed your, I own it, kind of. <laughs> you own my pussy. Yeah. You, like, actually own my pussy. And Riley's like, wait, what did I sign? No, <laughs> What? The worst part is he was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, he just signed, I'm like, yeah, I need you to sign this. He's like, oh, okay. And he yeah. just did. And then he goes, after he goes, wait. So what was that? What, what did I sign? Like, I'm like, oh, oh, I, I, I own her now. She just signed her pussy over to me, bro. <laughs> That's all. You so, know, now I own it. If it you would like right to here. look up that scene, it's on my post. <laughs> Um, blue spread. It was a blue, a blue, I think it was a blue um, bed spread. I remember that for some reason. Like the, the thumbnail. I don't know. It was a great scene, it was guys. Great. It, was my, it was my house. Yeah. 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 In the <laughs> other room. In the other room. <laughs> Not that room. The other the room. room. <laughs> you know the room. So, Tony. Where's my female fans at? I love that statistic. Where that? Where'd that come from? Google. Honestly, that doesn't surprise me because you do have a lot of positive comments on your videos on porn sites and stuff. Like, you get a lot of good feedback. Okay. Um, the thing about talking, I feel like guys say that all the time about any video, so I would, like, that's bullshit. But you get good comments. Oh, his dick is so long. Oh, I love how he leans back. Oh. I open up. Yeah, you really do. I you open really up. do. I take he pride. pays attention to what you guys I take want. my pride. I take my pride in opening mm-hmm. up. Me too. His videos are very quality. You guys truly should check it out. My Life in Miami. We're going to have some tags available for you guys. Tony, it has been such an honor to smoke with you and have you on the show. Do you have anything you'd like to shout out besides my life in Miami for us? Oh, man. I don't know. No. I don't. You. Shout you out. Hey. You're awesome. Spiffing giggles, oh, right? You. All your brands. These dudes right here. Cali Place Exotics hooking up the bomb. Ooh, yeah. Fucking weed. I still got two joints. You're going to mm-hmm. smoke more of me? Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, more. you guys are awesome. Like, Thank you. You know? I just... Thank you so much. Oh, guys. I don't even do podcasts. No, you don't. I got so lucky. I got so lucky. I honestly feel honored. And I love that I came. I love that I came. Yay. Thank you. (laughs) I'm Adriana Maya. This is Tony Rubino. We just shot another episode of Spliffs and Giggles brought to you by the Red Eye District. Good night, guys. Yeah.